Hello everybody and welcome back again. Um, I'm sorry that I took a short break. If you want to know why, I will be posting at the very end of the video because it's a little bit sad so we're gonna go into it a little bit and then we're gonna bring it back up with something happy. Also, one again, thank you everybody who's been tuning back in. I know this is vlog three, but we have some people who've been like watching since one and I really, really, really appreciate you guys. Let's start the vlog. All right, so I'm outside the spa to see my amazing friend and esthetician, Haley. Oh my God. If you're in like Arizona at all, please go see Haley. Her Instagram is Hayes Beauty. It's amazing, but I gotta get my eyebrows wet. I mean, even this is not doing them justice, but they're bad, so I don't have anything on them right now. I just need to get that fixed up. And then my eyelashes, I try to curl them, but uh, they don't like to stay curled, so I'm getting them lifted. All right, so I'll see you guys. Eyebrows done and lashes perm. And now, they're just already curled and I don't have to do anything, yay! And now, I'm gonna clean the house. Can I be your superhero? Superhero. Time to tackle this huge freaking thing of laundry. Can I be your superhero? All right, you guys, it's time to water the plants. overcast day right now so we got the windows cracked guess what we're watching away. it's the first time of today not love this movie it's so good also had a huge crush on Pippin let's just let's take a minute to acknowledge that due to saving some time since this is almost a month's worth of videos I'm not going to be putting the um, cooking process into these just the videos of the food that I made this past so month what doing? when did every damn thing change it always happens in an instant had I missed it again I say that I'm leaving and I also got to spend a lot of time with friends and making new memories and having a good time. things happened this month as well. Um, we got to drive out to Tucson to meet our Corgi's parents. So today we are driving to Tucson and meeting the parents of our litter. We are beyond excited. Beyond. And I bet the mom is gonna be so cute. I texted the breeder and she's like, she's getting so big. And I'm like, oh, a little big pregnant Corgi. <laughs> So what are we doing? When did 
made every damn thing change It always happens in an instant Had I miss it again Time stops when I'm falling for you Heather got a new dog. Falling for Shannon found a kitten, so we rescued it. Is your head spinning that we will go into later. But we took her to the vet and she looked so cute. She had a ton of fun playing in the cat tree. <laughs> medication and everything, she's gonna be okay. We just have one more vet visit. <laughs> So if you have made it this far and you want to have like a happy, happy day, then just end the video now. But if you want to know kind of what happened, um, a little bit of bad news, then I guess keep watching. So the Monday that I was supposed to release my vlog when I was doing it every week, um, I took Winston out to do my intro um, and he it almost sounded like he was crying and I realized that he was gasping for breath. Um, so I called the vet and they told me to rush him there immediately. So we're not off to a good start this week. I took Winston out to do the vlog this morning as our intro and he's like having a lot of trouble breathing. So right now we're rushing him to the animal hospital. We're on our way, Mr. Winston. We're gonna get you all taken care of. I love you so much. So he had been sick um, like a month and a half prior. Um, we had taken him in with allergies. The vet told us that the back of his teeth were overgrown and he needed to get tooth surgery. So they sent us home with antibiotics and stuff for his allergies. 
um, and eye drops, and within a week they did the surgery, um, which isn't that much time when you're giving him like three different medications. So they took him back and they told me that it was normal to opt out of the IV because it's a very fast procedure and she said she was really good. So I was like, okay, I trust you, I'll opt out. Well, we got him back and he stopped eating, he stopped drinking, um, he lost 30 grams in like a week. And so we had to take him back in, they hospitalized him. $3,000 later, they told me it was because I opted out of the IV that his kidneys started to freak out. Um, I think it was because of all the medications. They sent us home with even more medications. He's a small animal and he can't handle that much. And they told me I could opt out of the IV. So I was giving him IVs at home, critical care, all this crazy stuff, more medications, and we finally got him healthy again. Then this happened, um, and they told us that he had pneumonia or some kind of an upper respiratory infection. They told us that we could do um, hospitalize him, they could do x-rays, all this other stuff. It was going to start at $1,000. That was fine. I don't care how much I'm going to spend on him. All I care is that he's okay. And I went in there, and he was gasping for breath, even in an oxygen tank, and I was just, I just knew. I knew that he didn't want to go through all that again. So um, I asked the vet what his chances of living were, and she said 50-50. So I knew that I didn't want him to suffer, and I he was so weak, I didn't even think he was going to make it. And I didn't want his last couple's days to be without me. Um, or if something were to happen while he was hospitalized and I wasn't there. So I made the decision. I called Isaiah out and we had him put down. And I think he knew that he was ready to go. Because she's told us that normally when they put him down, they kind of gasp for breath and it's kind of traumatic. But when he passed, it was so peaceful. And I knew he, I knew he trusted me and I was holding him. And it was, it was really hard, but I wouldn't ever want to make an animal suffer. Especially when it's somebody that you care about. So... I just want to think of some happy times and share some cute little videos him, of him to end this video, kind of in his honor. Because chinchillas normally live about 20 years, kind of like a cat, and he was only four. So yeah, don't take, don't take your time with your relatives or your pets or anything for granted. And yeah, I will see you guys next week. Too far.